You know what? He's been through so many uh, ups and downs in, in his young life. You know what I mean? So the the buy-in part, I think the skill shorts helped me out with him a lot. We're just saying, like, hey, man, believe in coaches. That's, you know, he, he's really good at what he do. But I never, I think the roller coasters early in his in his career helped him out now. So he just, he's so bought in, he's so focused. That I mean, it made it easy for him. And no, I never seen anybody just catch on to it that fast ever. So. Got a little construction going on. Yeah, I can't. I can't hear it. What? What? <laughs> Anyway, he uh, uh, as far as he came, as much as he did, now he goes into a season where people are pointing. He has to, he has to start looking at this more than he was. Well, and this is the thing: <coughs> dealing with receivers, you need counterparts. The uh, reason why David was so productive last year is because of Kareem and, and Marcus Sims and Gary Dennis. That. If you double him, the others will rip you apart. So that's the big difference. As long as, as long as the guys around him keep producing, that he he's gonna get his. You know, and, and, and like I tell those guys all the time, some games not gonna be your day. The defense gonna say I'm gonna shut him down. The other guys gonna have to beat me. And it kind of happened to David towards the end of the year, but now, uh, and you just see other guys prevail in those games. So if you, if, like I tell my guys, we all gotta help each other out. Uh, certain days gonna be yours, and certain days gonna be his. So. Anybody else need Coach Call? What are your expectations for this spring, and what do you hope to accomplish? Uh, just the the the, the backups, the, the the two depth guys. You know, we got. We got three guys competing out there for, for a spot right now. Uh, TJ is the front leader for it. Uh, but, uh, you know, watching Reggie and, and, and Dom you know, step up to the plate, and, and they're night and day better from what they were a year ago, which is really refreshing. So uh, those are my, my, my three biggest projects right now, just getting those guys ready to to be serviceable backups, including with uh, Will and, and Drew Bowen, and you know my new addition with Tevin Bush too. So, what do you attribute the the improvement to? Like, what what have they done from last year to this year that's caused that that drastic improvement? Well, it's, it's year two uh, under the teaching. You know, uh, it's hard. Like David Seals is rare of uh, coming in and just getting it, but he was never coached by any other receiver coach. It was just exactly what I taught, so that's the only thing he knew. For the other guys, it was breaking bad habits, learning the way, learning the culture of how to work at that position. Because a lot of people don't know how, how much time, how much, how much, just on the field time, off the field time you have to put in to be really good at that position. So now, you know, they more in the groove of it. They know what's expected out of them, uh, and, and and all three of those guys, actually all of those guys, they just. They want to work. They want to be a, a factor this year. So.